Well guys, the 1794 trim level Toyota Tundra comes back again for the third generation in this 2022 model. So let's go ahead and get into it. So hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. Like I said, this is the 2022 Toyota Tundra 1794 edition and it looks awesome. It is in that classic burnt mesquite color, that beautiful, rich brown color. And the interior of this one, guys, top notch. I'm gonna show you that in this video. I am also gonna walk around the outside because you notice something a little bit different about this one. That's a long bed. This truck's a boat. It is also a TRD off-road, so I'll show you some of the goodies that this one has inside with that as well. You guys will be really, really excited about that. So on the outside of this truck, you have the beautiful mesquite brown color. It looks awesome. It says 1794 edition down here on the bottom. Nice little chrome, nice chrome handles. Personally for me, the TRD wheels do not really fit this if you have a bunch of chrome on it, but it is the TRD off-road package. So you get some TRD wheels with this one as well. Coming back to this bed, six and a half foot bed on this truck, locking rear tailgate, simple button. It is a composite bed, like I've said, with the other trucks as well, but it is high strength, huge bed, an actual truck bed that you can fit stuff into. It also has the little bump thing right here on the tail light as well to lower the tailgate. That is the only gimmick that this tailgate has. It, other than that, it has just been re-engineered. It's stronger, lighter, and just perfect for this truck. Lots of chrome on this one. It has TRD right there because it is a TRD off-road one, but you have the nice LED DRLs with it. Nice LED lights themselves. Functional vents again for the twin turbocharged V6. This one is not the iForce Max. It is just a normal six cylinder, but let's go ahead and get greeted by this super luxurious interior. We have like white leather right here on the door cards. Nice soft, like dark brown leather. Beautiful wood right here as well on the door. You have your memory seats. Getting on the inside, they have gone away with the beautiful rich brown that you would find on the last generation Tundra for this very rich cream looking seats. Oh my gosh, these things are comfortable. But before we get into them, look down here. So you have all these seat features, back, tilt, everything, forward, back, crazy lumbar support, but you also have right here for your legs. The Platinum had it, this one should have it, but again, these are prototypes, so this will move for you as well on this seat. I believe for the 1794, because the Platinum has it as well, but these are prototypes, but you will have leg support too, it looks like. Coming over here, you have your automatic on-off lights, you have your heated steering wheel. Getting inside now, you have a huge, oh my gosh, who was in this before? Let's go ahead, raise that up automatically now, and automatic tilt, but you have a huge 12-inch screen right here, all digital display, a very massive, large, brand new 14-inch display. You have the mirror that is also a camera, nice dark, roof in this truck so to complement the white leather and cream leather beautiful wood grain you have a nice dark roof and speaking of roof there ain't much of it because you have an amazing panoramic style moon roof and then the best tundra feature right freaking there that roll down rear window over here on the dash you also have a 1794 right there above the center card and then you can see that accent ambiance light back up behind this right there very nice feature to have in this truck now with the trd off-road feature that i talked about all four-wheel drive trucks that are trd off-road will have not only a locking rear diff which is awesome but every single one will have all the features right here. So every single TRD off-road, whether it's SR5, Limited, the 1794, whatever it is, every single one will have a rear locking diff and all these functions right here. So they will all have crawl control and they will all have the multi-terrain select. Everything is just on this dial and your four-wheel drive is over here. We're in two, push, truck's going into four, four, and it doesn't like uh, <laughs> it doesn't like when I put it in the low right now. These are all prototypes, but every single one will have all those features, which is really awesome. But the interior, guys, of this 1794 is just freaking awesome.
coming into the back seat because this is the crew max no double cabs here uh at this event but we do have the back seats of this too tons tons of room in the back seat decent amount of headroom not a crazy bit but what i have noticed in the back seat of this and look you could tell that it is kind of perforated the seats because you have heated and cool seats in the back. Again, you have vents right here for your rear occupants. So not only that, but in the back too, you have sunshades. That is very cool. I mean, for me personally, I tint my truck, but this is still a nice feature to have uh, for more privacy as well in the back. Some people don't like spending a lot of uh, money on their uh, vehicles after they bought them, but that's still a very nice feature to have in these more luxury trim trucks. But I cannot get over how nice this interior is. You have the dual climate control up there too, heated cooled seats up front, all the towing goodies. The uh, TRD engine start stop kind of looks a little bit out of place in this beautiful luxurious interior. Um, metal pedals down there as you guys can see, TRD shifter, and uh, nice little wood right here too on that little guy that opens up. Even back here, too, you can tell this ambiance light back here in the back. It's on that side, and it's on the front door cards up there as well. Tons of nice ambiance light, and you can also see it under the pedals, too, right there. So tons of, like, accent lighting and stuff in this truck. It looks, man, it <laughs> looks so good in here, guys. So that's it, guys, with this 1794 edition. It looks absolutely incredible. I know a lot of people are going to enjoy that the 1794 edition came back. It is definitely different in here than the outgoing model. Uh, there's no floor mats, so I don't know what those look like. Uh, don't know if they have the kind of bullet-looking floor snap things like the old uh, 1794s did. Uh, don't know if there's different seat options. We will know all that as more information comes out about these trucks. But as of right now, this interior is uh, pretty premium for this truck. So guys, if you're new around here, definitely consider subscribing. Returning subscribers, as always, I appreciate your guys' support. And I will catch you in the next video. All right, see you later.